<clears throat> so we are in Clovis, California. We just finished installing this Krauss faucet. Um, the existing faucet sitting right there. And um, so this came directly from the manufacturer. Uh, they first sent us a cartridge. And uh, so we disassembled this, replaced the cartridge. We still had leaking problems. It was internal and it's got integrated supplies. So we contacted Krauss again and they sent us out a brand new faucet. So it's installed. Uh, it is tight to the sink. You can see right here. It is touching the sink. So when they drilled the hole down below, they drilled it a little too close. Um, you know, either, either way, either drill the hole for the sink and move the sink out or drill the hole for the faucet further back. But um, as long as you don't you know, get any movement here, it doesn't cause too much stress, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. It's been in here, you know, for years, so I don't think you're going to have a problem with this. There's a tiny, tiny little gap, but it is touching. And um, so anyways, we're going to leave that. Um, hopefully everything goes goes well with that. Uh, we've tested it out. We did pull out the aerator little tool right here. That's what takes the aerator out. It's kind of fussy to use, but uh, if, if you get any debris in there, sand, sediment, silt, uh, up inside this aerator up in here, then that's the tool that removes it. You clean it out and replace it. If it's too packed and you can't get it clean, drop it in some distilled white vinegar and let it soak in that. That should clean it. If not, contact Krauss. Have them ship you another one. One of these little guys. It's an aerator. And they'll ship you a new one. That's the little Allen key that uh, you use to take the handle off. You can see a little tab. Little gray plat little gray rubber tab. You pull it out and then the little Allen wrench goes in there, unscrews, takes it off. That's how you replace the cartridge there. So there's your documentation. <clears throat> there's your packing slip underneath it. This guy right here. Documentation, key, <clears throat> and then of course that tool. Additionally, we went ahead and put your trap in correctly. Uh, when we went to uh, work in here, uh, we saw that the trap is installed backwards. I mean, you, you can put it in that way, but this tail piece that goes up and connects here, it had another little extension, and it was just barely into. This was flipped around, so this side was over there, which is fine. It's not the way it goes. You can't install it that way, but it creates a deeper trap, so the water has to push up further. So we flipped it around the way that it's supposed to get installed and, and put it that way. Uh, because of that, it gave us a little more reach. We could eliminate this piece right here, and now you've just got one extended tailpiece that goes up, or a tailpiece extension that goes up and connects to existing tailpiece. So that's good. Uh, you know, of course, we just bumped this and the trap dropped down, dumped on the water. So we dried it up right there. Uh, it'll take a little bit for that dry out completely. <clears throat> um, so there's, right now we've tested it out. We're going to check those angle stops real quick and make sure that the, the packing nets, uh, let's dry that one off because I see some water back here. Make sure that you don't get any uh, dripping on these plastic stems. Let's see if we can get in here and get you a good picture. And that guy right there, you can see that little packing net looks pretty dry to me. So it's just a little lint right there. Uh, a little bit of scale right back here, but no, no moisture, so that's good. And then, I'm not sure if I can get you a picture of this guy, but that's the other packing net. And so that's dry as well. Everything's good, there's, so there's no leaking, no dripping. Uh, faucet's installed correctly. Trap is installed correctly now. Do monitor this area for any kind of leaks. Um, you know, things develop over time, especially with hot water as you begin to use it. You know, those gaskets loosen up a little bit, so just from time to time, you know, the best thing you could do is, you know, I know the cabinets are usually full of items, uh, you know, for the bathroom, but what I like to do is right at the back is go ahead and put down a couple pieces of paper towel and, uh, you know, you get a little drip of water on there, that means something's going on up here. And just a suggestion, but anyways, everything looks good. Faucet's installed. Outside of that, this installation is done.